Hey guys, BJ Kissel with SB Nation and the Arrowhead Pride YouTube channel. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about the use of John Baldwin on play action passes last week for the Chiefs against the Buffalo Bills. Seven of the 71 offensive snaps that I charted were play action passes against the Bills. John Baldwin was out on the field for 39 of the 71 plays overall. And five of the seven play action passes the Chiefs ran, Baldwin was out on the field. Those five plays ended, one ended in a sack, and four pass attempts went for an average distance down the field of 23 yards. So obviously the Chiefs were trying to get the ball downfield, going long passes on these play action passes. Two of the passes went to John Baldwin, both were incomplete. One was for 39 yards, and one would have been for 23 yards. So it's also interesting to note that six of the seven play action passes the Chiefs ran we're either in 12, 21, or 22 personnel, which means they're keeping in a lot of guys to block to help pass protection for, you know, Matt Castle to get these balls downfield to either Dwayne Bowe or John Baldwin. So obviously they are making a concerted effort to get the ball downfield on these pass attempts, which is why I think they're keeping so many people in the block. So when the Chiefs are running 60% of their plays in 11 personnel, and when they're not in 11 personnel, there's a much, much higher chance that we're going to run a play-action pass. It is something to keep in mind when you watch the Chiefs next week against the New Orleans Saints, that when we run play-action passes, if, the, if it holds true with what they did against the Bills, that we're going to try to get the ball downfield in a hurry. So just one thing to keep in mind when you watch the Chiefs this week against the Saints. So for the new Arrowhead Pride YouTube channel, I'm DJ Kittle.